All right, welcome back everybody to some more Mass Effect 2. We are now on the station. I'm just gonna go around and talk to Jake quickly and a few of the others and see if the elusive man wants to keep the elusive Never man mind. waiting. Never mind, they don't want to speak with me. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. The elusive man is waiting for me. Of course the elusive man is waiting for me. Helmet on, please. Because I'm that weird guy that likes to keep my armor on. That's right, I'm the weird guy. Don't have a type of armor yet. No, chest piece is all regular. Ooh, we can change the material up. Eh, not much of a difference. Tint? Eh. Let's keep the black and instead... Ah, that's better. I like that more. I can do patterns as well. There we go. That looks ten times better for me. Thank you. Forgot that I have a casual appearance. Jesus, they changed that. Uh, mm, I like this one more. I just like the regular jacket. It looks better. Alright, elusive man. You want to speak to us, huh? Let's see what you got. Mm, that's one heck of a way to uh, scan somebody. Ow! How do? Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. Yeah, well, you don't know me, dude. You might be the reason I'm still alive, but that doesn't mean I trust you. You need to put your personal feelings aside. Humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm sorry, man. You are not my friend. You need to earn the right to ask me those kinds of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as you believe. You and I are on the same side. We just have different methods. Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers. Just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Alright, and what about Cerberus itself? Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we mm -hmm. wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. And why me? You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. I wouldn't think they would respect anything. Abductions. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Fair enough. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. Hmm. And, uh, alright, fine. Maybe I do believe you. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. So, uh, do I have a choice here? Is this a volunteer job, or am I being volunteered? You always have a choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can part ways. But first, go to Freedom's Progress. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? 
Do they have any connection to the Reapers? Hmm. I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. All right. What a lovely guy. Uh, well, I completely forgot that I can level up now. <laughs> uh, God. Ooh, combat mastery. Flashbang grenade. Mm, mastery rank one. Superior training improves your health weapons. Mm, that's pretty good. Might as well get that adrenaline too, but I kind of want the combat mastery. That's right. I just upgraded all of that, so I'll take it. Ooh, ability evolution. Commando or shock trooper? Your killing intent is ever present, increasing weapon damage and storm speed and giving you damage bonus to powers. Health, weapon damage, storm speed, paragon renegade, 70 plus. Interesting. Shock trooper. Your survival instincts grants you an intense concentration. The further increased weapon damage and storm speed and gives you duration bonus to powers. Alright. So damage. Meh. Storm speed, 40. Paragon Renegade. Power duration, plus 15. Mm. I'll go Shock Trooper. Why not? Don't know why I did Shock Trooper, but sure. Powerful. Nice. Evolve any power. Sweet. I'll take it, though. Okay. Oh, I don't, I don't like that sound. Please stop my ears. Okay, Miranda. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. Hmm. Thanks for resurrecting me. At I never least. I got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I just hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. Hey, look. We don't have to be enemies here. We have to work together here. Your attitude isn't helping anything. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe uh, in what course. Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. Uh, current mission. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any idea what we'll find there? Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. Okay, fair point. But what about the Lazarus Project? Tell me I'd more. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, we'd have done a few things differently. Uh-huh, and I can guess what that is already. What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm glad you had a change of heart on that Can't one. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. God, cynical on that. And what about you? Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. Fair enough. Uh... I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. Fair enough. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. Jacob? I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. Now well, those colonists need our help. I just find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. Noted. Do you trust me, Commander? Honestly, yeah. You seem like a chill dude. You're a good man, Jacob. But you might be working for the wrong people. Maybe. But I thought the same when I was with the Alliance. That's why I'm here now. Current mission. Actually, yeah. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. Okay, and what about you and the you Alliance? You said you served in the Alliance? Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. A Corsair? I've never heard of the Corsair. Dang. It was an alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official alliance jurisdiction. Hmm. Technically, we weren't part of the alliance. 
we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. But there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Fair enough. And what about you and Cerberus? Why did you join Cerberus? I gotta I stop I doing that. I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council. But nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Fair enough. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. That's all for now. No, that's fair. Yes, sir. I mean, that is a pretty good difference, in my opinion. All these people working. Well, let's get to it, then. Oh, thank you. Thank you, game. Alright, so we're gonna head off to Freedom's Progress, then, and see what the hell's going on. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? Mm. Other colonies. What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us mm. a clue. They just disappeared. We've got no target to go after. Uh, what about my authority? Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. Alright, and odds of success? What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. I like the sound of that. Okay, somebody could still be alive down there. Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. I can agree with that. This is an interesting planet. Freedom's progress. You can probably understand why they call her that. Alright, well, here we are. God, that's creepy as hell. Hey, my assault rifle! Yay! I missed this thing. I really did. I love this gun. Oh god, yeah, they Looks left. Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. Hmm. That's actually trooper reference. The hell is that noise? Strange. No bodies. No structural damage. No signs of battle. Not a thing. This whole place be looking a bit abandoned. God. Ah, drones. Hear that? Sounds like venomous snacks. Strange. I love adrenaline. Bad doggy. Oh shit. Damn. They should have recognized us as human. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on site. We're not alone here. So there's got to be at least one colonist still alive down here, then? Disproving your theory, Miranda. I do not like those sounds, I swear. That is... Whatever is on this planet creeps me the hell out. Oh, I got some good stuff here. Medkit. Bypass. Safe. Hmm... There we go. Got me some goodies. Mm. God damn though. Make activity. Holy shit. 
Okay, I ate that like a chump. Did not mean to do that. Oh, hello. Stop right there. Fraza, you said you'd let me handle Tally. Wait. Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down. Shepard? Is that you're alive? Hey, it's me, Tally. Remember when I gave you that get data, Tally? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Hey. Yes, it did. Fraza, weapons down. This is definitely Commander Shepard. Why is your old commander working for Cerberus? Long story. I don't know. Maybe we should ask. I didn't really have a choice. I nearly died, Tally. Cerberus spent two years rebuilding me. They want me to investigate attacks on human colonies. Likely story. Mm. No organization would commit so many resources to bring back one soldier. You haven't seen Shepard in action, Praza. Trust me. It was money well spent. Especially Perhaps for Cerberus. Perhaps we can work together. We're here looking for a young Quarian named Vitor. He was here on pilgrimage. Why did Vitor come here? Isn't that a little strange? A Quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. Aww. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his soot CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open air exposure, and he's likely delirious. Oh, great. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Okay, so we need to team up Vitor's and get him. the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Damn, Tally. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Tally, you became a worthy fucking person, I swear. Yeah, it's good to see you, Tally. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. Whatever happens, it's good to have you back. Aw, you too. We love Tally. Okay, so any good goods? I heard something. Oh. Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Shit. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of them. Security drones, man, I swear. They've seen us. Come on up. <laughs> that poor drone. It was just minding its own business. Probably wanted a hot cup of oil. And I did not allow it. I will not allow it. Kind of amazed they kept these minigames. I think the only ones I haven't seen yet is the other one. Alright, let's go this way. Use overload on them. Oh, that's an unfortunate event. Ooh, I ducked just in time. Oh, dear God. God damn it. That one, whoa. Yeah. And eat it. Well, not bad if I do say so myself. Shepard, Praza and his squad rushed on ahead. I told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. They want to find Vitor and take him away before you get here. We should right. have expected this. Come on, you can still catch them. We're on our way, Tally. What was that all about? Of course, I keep doing this to myself. Enemy down. One left. Target down. Sorry for my silence, by the way. I'm a little uh, crazy right now. Oh, 
Oh dear they lord. They don't want to get to Vito first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loaded bay doors. We'll take All cover right. by the doors. Shepard, you take point. If you say so. You got it. Oh, yeah, that is a heavy mech. Fall back, guys. Oh, Praza. Oh. Jesus. Oh. That mech's got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Those poor Quarians, man. They did not deserve that. Uh, what weapon is that? Override, got it. And a little bit of adrenaline to mess with this thing. My dear God. Ooh, no thanks. I'm good. Ah, I'm so close to finishing it off. I love adrenaline. Got it. Heavy drone down. That's the good news. What's the bad news? Oh yeah, we're still looking for Vitor. And anybody else who's still kicking and alive in here? Which one was that? That one. Okay. I'm just getting as many credits as I possibly can, because I might as well. Ooh, 3,000 credits. Don't mind if I do. God, these poor Quarians, though, man. They got annihilated. This looks interesting. Oh, iridium. I'm actually curious if those uh, pieces transfer over to the game. Hey, Tally, you all right? This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded shepherd. He's probably somewhere in the back of the loading bay. All right, you got it, Tally. Thank you. Yikes, though. Yeah, those poor Quarians, they got messed up. All right, Vitor, open up, buddy. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Come on, buddy. You're safe. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. Aww. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Mechs will protect. Swarms coming. There we go. Sorry, Vitor. Hey, buddy. You're human. Where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. Uh, we weren't here. We're not survivors, Vitor. We just got here. You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Oh, Jesus. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? Ugh. My god. I think it's a collector. You want to tell me what a collector is now? Is that some kind of alien? There are species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work That's not for intermediaries, good. like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The colony's the collectors gone. have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. Jesus. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you. Freeze you. Then the monsters take you away. Vitor's escape. How did you get away, buddy? Why 
didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors Aww. aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. That's odd. What about the swarms? Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds. Machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you. Then they sting you. Freeze you. Sounds they paralyze like you. Probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. Oh. Collectors? I want to know more about the collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare, a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. <sighs> All right, go on, Vidor. Let's see what you got, buddy. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No oh, one escapes. God. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. Poor Vitor. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. Okay. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. Screw you! What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna say that. I, I, well, let's see. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I want to, but I can't. I've got Aww. a mission of my own. It's too important for me to abandon, even for you. When it's over, and I'm still alive, we'll see what happens. You got it, Tally. But nope, Vitor's going with Tally. We'll take the Omni tool. The data is fine. We don't need him. He needs medical attention. That's He's what he needs. And he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omni tool data and take him to the flotilla. Thank you. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Aww. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. Thanks, Tally. We're ready for pickup. So now we have an enemy. The Collectors. Gonna be interesting settling that one to an enemy. Or to the Alliance. Or anyone. Shepard. Good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. Thank you. <sighs> Having friends pays off, elusive man. You should try it sometime, you know. Go out, go to a spa, see how people like you, alright? Go do that. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? <laughs> Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But yeah, more fair. importantly, you confirm the collectors are behind the abductions. You do not seem surprised about this. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The mm -hmm. collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the terminus systems looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. That's, that's Until weird. Now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the collectors. What's the Omega-4 relay? Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Hmm. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Okay, interesting humans. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Hmm. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. Maybe that, that could have activated them. Draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? 
What are these transactions? What are the collectors getting from these deals? The collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. Hmm. They pay slavers and work groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. So now they've changed their objective. All right, what aren't you telling me? You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. Alright, well I can't do it alone. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the Collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Mm, I had a good team. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Mm. What about Ashley? Where's Ashley Williams? She's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. Her file is surprisingly well classified. Rex? Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. Tally? What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Uh-huh. Garrus. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Interesting. And Liara? Where's Liara Tassoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Oh, great. All right, well, never mind, I guess, okay, on that I get one. It. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. Oh. Well, we'll be ready. You worry about the collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker Swarms. Alright, is, is that an order? I haven't even started and you're telling me what to do? I'm giving you direction. What you do with it is up to you. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. Alright, what's the other thing? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Uh, it's good to see you again, Joker. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? Hey, I buddy. I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life. Let me fly. And there's this. Oh my god, here it is. You told me last night. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's good to see you again, Normandy. SR2, let's go. Look at that butte. Mmm. Now that's a ship. It's good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. Hmm. Prep up the Normandy for launch. Ah, oh, there you are, beauty. And she's off into the stars. God.
Now we really started Mass Effect. Now the real journey begins. Yeah. Oh, it's such a beautiful ship. Joker. Mm, new crew. Not bad. All Cerberus crew members, huh? <sighs> Rest in peace, Presley. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. That's a good point. Without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? Hello. I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Oh, Joker won't like this. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. Hmm, all right. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. Okay. Well, I guess it's time to assemble our team. Now that we've got that sorted out, let's move on to these dossiers. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Thank you, Joker. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. No worries. Well, let's get to know what the crew is here. So there's the galaxy map. Sweet, sweet. God, I love this. The new Normandy looks beautiful. Yep, yep, private terminals. Weapons locker. I'm actually so happy they changed that for the armory. Elevator. Captain's quarters. Now that is nice. We have a beautiful captain's quarters. Tech lab. Sweet, sweet. Alright. Well, I do say we should uh, explore the ship a little before we get moving. Edie. What's this area of the ship? This is the Combat Information Center. Here, the crew receives sensor data and coordinates gunnery and damage control efforts. While Normandy is flown from the bridge, during combat, the commanding officer issues orders from the CIC. Thank you, Edie. Welcome aboard, Commander. Hello, Chambers. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your uh, Kelly. assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. Pleasure's all mine. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Sure. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Mm, how's the crew doing? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Joker would like to speak to you on the bridge. Anything else, Commander? Oh, it's all good. Uh, what about you? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Uh, okay, what do you do here? What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. Thank you. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. All right, I appreciate that. Uh, what do you... Oh, are you happy here? How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. <laughs> How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. We won't. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. Hmm. I'd drop you. <laughs> I'd catch you. Your trust is well placed, Kelly. I knew it would be. Thank you, Shepard. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Uh. What do you think of Cerberus? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. Mm, I'd we put a pin on the noble. Interests. 
advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. Does Cerberus hate aliens, though? It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats, too. Okay. I love right. humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus' ideals. All right. Well, you are very loving, but That's please. That's a very positive attitude. What can I say? I'm a people person. Anything else you'd like to talk about? That's everything, Kelly. Better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Cool, cool. So that's Kelly. Joker wants to talk to us. Uh, okay. Team status. Unread messages. Archive messages. Anything new there? Oh, dear God. There's a lot. Anderson. Council Anderson. On the off chance that the rumors are true and you actually are alive, I need you to come and talk to me on the Citadel. A lot has changed in the last two years. You put me on the council, and it's only fair that you'd be allowed to speak for yourself about what we've been hearing. Good point. Deal struck with Zaid Masani. Uh, we've reached an agreement with veteran mercenary Zaid Masani. You may know the name Zaid has been involved in some of the best known and some utterly unknown military operations on the Terminus systems, and is feared as a ruthless and relentless bounty hunter. Felt you might need a man with his skills on your mission, so I arranged to have him join you. You'll find him on Omega, where he's wrapping up his current bounty. Don't worry about his fee. I've taken care of that personally. All right. Lost contact with the survey ship. Uh, Project Firewalker. The MSV Rosali, a survey ship on the server's connections, has gone missing. The survey team was field testing a new prototype, the Hammerhead Planet Side Exploration Rover. In addition, scientists Dr. Manuel Case and Dr. Robert Oloy are aboard the MSV Rosali and conducting research for us. We need you to find the ship, her survey team, and the doctor. The MSV Rosali was seen near planet Ziona. Lista is Mar Frontier. Got it. Normandy crash site location. Oh, this one. Admiral Hackett. Commander Shepard, our scans on the Amada system have turned up something we thought you should see. Final location of the wreckage of the SSV Normandy. We thought this news might be important to you, but we also have ulterior... We also have an ulterior motive. The Alliance would like to honor the Normandy with a monument to be built on the site of the ship's final resting place. We'd like to invite you to place the monument and be the first to walk on the site. There are still 20 crew members unaccounted for from the attack on the Normandy. If you find any signs of these lost crewmen, we ask that you report to the Alliance so that those heroes' families might find some closure. Godspeed, Shepard. Recon Hood. It occurs to me, our armor technicians, that you may not want to show your face everywhere you go. They sent by a hood that Cerberus issues to its covert operatives. It is an additional microframe. Functions that you may like. The hood is in your quarters. Okay. Overlord. One of our cells just went off the grid without explanation. Project Overlord has been experimenting with highly volatile technology and I need you to investigate. Their work is extremely compartmentalized, enough that I can't divulge operational details over this channel. You'll find them on the planet A, Typhon system, in the Phoenix Massing Cluster. Please use care in this matter. Arc Project. We recently had an incident involving the Geth at one of the outposts in the Skylian Verge. Don't worry, not sending you off to chase anything down. Our operatives waged a highly successful battle against the Geth scouting party and credited this success to a new advanced electrical attack device that we finally let them take out of the lab. Since their unit is being reassigned for some rest and relaxation, I thought you should take custody of the weapon in the meantime. The weapon is called the Arc Projector. I sent it to the Normandy's Armory so you can examine it for yourself and use it if you deem worthy. It's gone through plenty of tests that indicate the Overlord kinetic barriers and synthetic enemies particularly well, but laboratory demonstrations are poor. Substitute for an actual field report. We know it works, now we want to see what it can do in the right hands. If all goes well, we'll use your tactics to train other operatives. Fair enough. Rendezvous with Kasumi Goto. Uh, at great cost and effort, we have tracked down the master thief Kasumi Goto and convinced her to work with you. Very few people have ever heard of her. Uh, fewer can claim to have seen her in person. She is an unequaled at stealth and infiltration. Her skills will prove invaluable in your mission. Travel to the Zakir Ward on the Citadel. There you will find a special terminal that differs from the usual. Input the password Silence is Golden to begin the rendezvous. Got it. And Ascension Financial Services, your account? Hello, Commander Shepard. Thank you for admitting your updated medical documentation. Your status has been changed from deceased to alive. After 
deducting modest administration fees for closing the file, the subsequent change in status, the reactivation of your account, you have a remaining balance of 100,000 credits. Thank you for banking with Ascension Financial Services. We look forward to you working with, working with you. Are you protecting your greatest assets? We will find the best life insurance rates and coverage to fit your needs. Reply for a free quota today. I'm good. All right. So that's all the messages. So we have some missions that we can go do. Let's quickly go talk to Joker. And... Yeah, I guess that'll have to do. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking here. I'm thinking, Lincoln. Give me a moment. Ah, oh, yeah. Codex is... Updating all the codexes. Shutter control. Nice, nice. Flight controls. Yep, yep, yep. I like the shepherd is or er, shepherd. Op check is clean. Wait, if I press that again. Oh, cool. I did not mean to do that. Hey, Joker. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a glove. And leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. Oh, my lord. Reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. That's just rude. It's not the same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. I have to take what I can get. The last two years sucked. You'll see. Even if an AI is spying on us, no way they'll invest this much just to screw us over. <laughs> It'll be better than the old days. I hope so. I die. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's not wrong, though. He did die. Commander. Uh, how are things on the cockpit, buddy? I everything is going well up here. I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output, and it'll be like we never lost her. Sweet. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Hmm. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. -day. Cerberus disagrees. I'm no fan either, but we're stuck with it. Until I find a soldering gun. There's got to be some wires I can cross to make it hurt. No sabotage. Understood? <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't break the boss's toys. Uh, the mission. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. Fair point. Uh, the squad. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. Okay, and the good old days. You ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? Yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. He's not wrong. Uh, what about the old crew? What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. Yeah, I kind of figured. Team commander, with the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. Aww. Well, I'm back now, Joker. That's it for now. See you, Commander. We're gonna keep this crew in top shape. But don't you worry about that. Ah, uh, that's kind of sad, though, man. Oh, Presley gone. A few of the other crew members. Yeah, yeah, it fucking hurts, you know. Now let's go investigate the rest of the crew. We've already seen Jacob is in here, if I'm correct. Hey, Jacob. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. It's a risky assignment. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same... I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. No worries, That's Jacob. Condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. Mm, glad to have you aboard, then, buddy. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. You too, Jacob. All right, so I'll let Jacob chill. I don't think there's much else we'll talk about. We can have another conversation with him later. I just want to get the basic conversations out of the way. 
But we can chat with him again later. Don't worry. I promise we will. Um, so I guess we need to go down. I forgot that the elevator is weird in this Man, game now. Received a new message at your private terminal. Already? No way. You lied to me, Kelly. You lied to me. That's not cool, Kelly. Uh, sure, let's go check out the captain's cabin quickly. This is the Normandy we're talking about, isn't it? So we're, we're checking it all out. Hello, Edie. <gasps> we have a fish tank. Fish tank! That's pretty good. Ooh, achievements. I can view achievements. Oh, cool. All right. I'll keep that in mind for next time. Hmm, yes, and the music. Hmm, I think I like that one more. That one's better. We'll keep that one as our tune for now. I know there's like some other ones, but I'll have to change them around. Let's go to the cruise quarters, see who's down there. I think Miranda's down there. And a few other people. This is all locked down. Men's washroom. Oh, oh, nope, oh, sorry. Nobody in here. Anybody in the cruise quarters? Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Hello. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh. Uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Oh, no. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. I have a bad feeling about that. Don't do this to me, game. Don't give me backstory for some random characters and let me know that their family's dead. That's not cool. Hey, guys. Chef surprise again. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. <laughs> Let me just get out my doilies. That'd be real nice, Mr. Gardner. Let's talk to him. I, I, I like him already. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? Well, do you need anything? You have everything you need. I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle <laughs> worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. Mm, well, I can help with that. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. Nah, give me the list. Next time we're on the Citadel, I'll take a peek. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Mm. Thoughts on Cerberus? How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. Fair enough. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. Fair enough. Uh, what's your responsibilities on the ship? What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical. I make sure they're all clean and running. A janitor and a cook. Damn, this guy's got his hands full. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals. I wash my hands. Most of the time. <laughs> this ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel. He's not wrong catch there. what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. Oh my god. Alright. How about, uh, joining Cerberus? How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man? Working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough. But losing everything to Batarian mm. Raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. Well, I appreciate it, Gardner. You keep it up, buddy. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. You keep it up, Gardner. You got this. And I believe we have one more person on board that we haven't seen in a while. Ah, Doc. How you Commander doing? Shepherd. 
I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. Man, why are you here? I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising. Even to me. Yet, here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Thank you, Chakwa. Anything? Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. <laughs> well, I'll get you another one. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive. And we have much larger concerns ahead. Too bad. I'm going to keep an eye out for it. What about leaving the Alliance? Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center. Hmm. A very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Hmm, you need to fly. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships. Never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Fair Life enough. planet side is just too static, too boring. Odds of survival? There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. Shout out to your doctor there, man, because Dr. Chakawa is a true OG. What about joining Cerberus? You're not the Cerberus type, doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. That's a fair. that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. Thank you, Doc. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Aw, it's good to see Dr. Chakwa. Man, I, I, I mean, like, I know we've seen her in, like, the previous games, but still, it's good to see that she's still kicking. Well, <laughs> consider Dr. Chakwa as stubborn as ever, so that's kind of my take on her. Ah, uh, Miranda, 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 Miranda. Commander, what can I do for you? Well, what do you got? You have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Uh, elusive man, I guess. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. Dang. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. Mm, that includes you and me. Still don't believe that, honestly. What makes you think so? How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions. Even from brief encounters. He's no saint and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Alright. Uh, Cerberus goals. I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus's long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Of course. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. And who's in charge? And those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? No one. Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Okay, what is Cerberus? Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. The, the betterment of humanity. For your accident were mostly part of our military division. Hmm. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. Mm, fair enough. Cerberus resources. The... Where do these come from, man? What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. Fair. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment. And a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. 
No pressure. Mm-hmm. Thanks for that. And what about you? Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Jesus. It's not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. That's kind of spooky. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's Genetic the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. So you're genetically modified. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly, and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. Jesus. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy, and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Hmm. Ah, fair enough, then. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Well, at least we know more about Miranda now. See, the genetic alterations thing, I'm kind of against that. I'm not a fan of such things, let's be fair, especially if it means to make somebody better than everybody else. Then again, that's just me, and I'm probably jealous. That's probably the most thing. Ooh, monitoring station. Uh, engines? If I'm correct, main deck. I'm very confused. Edie, hello. Is there something down here? Hold on a second. I, I don't think there is anything down here, but hey, you never know. I'm curious. What the frick? Alright, fair enough. Though I do like the Normandy. Normandy is awesome. Alright, last place to talk to everybody, and then I think we're golden. Ah, here they are. Engineer Donnelly, Engineer Daniels. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. Hello, you two. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabby. Gabriella Daniels, <laughs> actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Well, do you guys need anything? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The Kenneth, you're complaining. <laughs> what is the issue? Let me help. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. <laughs> I won't bore you with the tech, but there is an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. <laughs> In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. All right. Then why don't you have why them? Something like that already installed. It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. Okay. We can probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Well, I will definitely search for one for you there when I get there. Uh, feelings on Cerberus, the both of you. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. Fair point. We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. I like these two already. These two are awesome. Uh, Gabby joining Cerberus. How did you end up with Cerberus, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. Hmm. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state of the art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. Hey, fair enough. And what about you, Ken? So how did you get an offer to join Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything uh... you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. Oh, but Jesus. it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. Yeah, that's fair. They stuck up for Commander Shepard. The Alliance didn't take that very well, and now they're here. How about your training? Where did you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. 
She flew in the first wave at hmm. the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Oh my god, you guys saw it, but you left the Alliance. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. Uh... The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. Well, I appreciate both of you being here. But, ladies and gents, I do believe that's all we can talk to you about. Carry on. Well do, Commander. I'll get that part for both of you later, don't you worry. I'm amazed Shepard came down to see us. <laughs> I told you he would. Aw. I love them. They're both awesome and adorable. Partners in crime till the end. Engineer techs. I love it. I love those two. Alright, let's head back up to the top deck and I guess we can take a look at the map. Hello, Kelly. How you doing? Might as well take a peek. But yeah, that's the crew. Oh yeah, I forgot that we need... Fuel... Ah, fuel. Omega. Oh yeah, I guess we can scan planets too while we're at it. Uh, I mean, hey, might as well. Oh, cool. So I do start with a good amount of uh, all of those older items I had. Nice. Away. New research projects. Palladium is used to upgrade heavy pistols, armor, and cybernetics. Pretty good in my mind. Launched. Erdok. Intriguing, though. I wonder if these planets can actually be talked about. I'm just going to quickly scan these so then I can at least have this section locked down. Technically. Ooh, platinum. In research projects, platinum is used to upgrade sniper rifles, shotguns, and medical equipment. Damn. Got some good shit then. What's that? Iridium? Dude, I wish all of the materials that we ended up getting in the first game pretty much transferred to this. is used to upgrade heavy weapons, submachine guns, and assault rifles. Thank you, Edie. Appreciate that. Uh, God, there's a lot of places here. Let's six binder. If it were closer to Sharbrook, binder would have the atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane. Oh, cool. I will read most of these. Uh, apologies if I don't read all of them. But I will try my best to read at least a good majority of them. So the one we're looking for is Element Zero. Element Zero is the worst one, in my opinion. Or the rarest one. Also, I do not have that many probes. Remember this. Fuel, man. Fuel. I'm just going to buy the lot of it, because worth it. Alright. So our destination seems to be the Omega-4 Relay, or not the Omega-4 Relay. Omega Station is what we're going to be going to. So... Let's at least get docked there, I'd say. Built in the mined out husk of metallic asteroid, Omega has been a haven of criminals, terrorists, and malcontents for thousands of years at a time. The station has lain idle and abandoned for centuries, only to be reactivated by a new group of outlaws seeking a fresh start. The space station's original elegant design has given way to a haphazard expansion by scrabbling factions of every species. There is no central government or unifying authority on Omega, and nobody can recall the time uh, there ever was one. Ooh. Fair enough. I like the idea of just like a space station floating around giant asteroid rock. Looks nice, though. So we'll go get landed on Omega, and then I think that's where we'll take it from there. Dude, that place looks nuts. And this is a mining station, mind you. Oh yeah, I forgot that you can change the appearances. Oh, what? Wait, why? Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Um, let's upgrade adrenaline rush. 
Uh, I'll have you auto level up. You auto level up. That's fine by me. Okay. Uh, Shepard, I got my weapons. Oh, right. The arc projector. I'll try it out. Yeah, no new weapons or gear. Welcome to Omega. Welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Yeah. <laughs> oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. <laughs> oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. <laughs> Mocklin. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. Thank you. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Aria wants to know what brings a dead specter to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. Alright, we'll go, we'll go, just chill. Cut the attitude. I'm not here to cause problems for Omega. Things explode around you, Shepard. You can't blame Aria for keeping an eye on you. Good Afterlife, point. Afterlife, now. Will do. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Thank you, Edie. I appreciate that. But, ladies and gentlemen, I do believe that this is where I am going to call this session for tonight. So, we have at least figured out about the collectors taking people away and using them for who knows god what. We have figured out that we need teammates for this entire situation, and we've at least gotten to know some of the crew a little bit better. So, hey, that's a win in my books. So, the next time, we'll hopefully be going around Omega and seeing what needs done. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for joining me on this grand adventure, and I can't wait to see you in more Mass Effect 2. Have a good one, everybody.